we is on the way. We are in Texas, officially in Texas. And the good thing about Lake Fork is it's only like two hours across the Texas state line. So if you're going to like Amistad, from what I've heard, you get to Texas and it's like 17 more hours. Don't know exactly, I've just heard something it's crazy far across Texas to get to like Amistad. But Lake Fork, not too far. We are an hour and 15 minutes away now. So we got into Texas, been here about an hour. We have an entire day tomorrow to get ready. Maybe fish another lake close to Lake Fork and get a kind of a dialed in on Texas. But first time, first Texas bass gonna be coming pretty soon. So hopefully it'll be a big and big old giant. So let's go catch us one today on a little lake we're gonna drive by. Gas yeah, station time. Did you figure out where we're going? I did. What's it called? I ain't got no idea. Small lake um, just east of Lake Fork. It's not connected to Lake Fork in any way. So that means it is legal to fish. You hear all that? I might do that. Air escaping? That means we low on gas gasolina. Spotted bass. First Texas bass. First Texas bass, and it's a spotted bass. First Texas fish. 14, 15 inch spot. Not too bad. You've been eating crawfish, you can tell by what's coming out back there. Say, so why ain't it good enough for you? Oh, another little spot of bass. Okay, y'all know the drill. All right, back in the water. Okay. I need it for my truck, my boat. <laughs> Got one. <laughs> bass. Little one. Looks like a large mouth there. Yep. Big spotted bass. <laughs> Look at that thing, dude. Spotted bass, that's a good spotted bass. I don't know if they got big spots in Texas or not. I know we got some big ones in Alabama, but that's a dang good one. That's a, that's a two and a quarter. Fat sucker. He ain't that long, 16, 17 inches. Two and a quarter, two and a half pounder. Fat spot. Smash the buzz bait. I guess there's only spots in this lake though. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> but they little, they little, little, little. It'd be funny if like six pounds always wins all the tournaments here. All right, guys. Basically, what we're doing is just running a straight, standard old fall pattern, throwing a buzz bait around sea walls and docks, and you know, all you're looking for is the, the fish that live shallow all year round, pretty much. But this time of year, they actually start to bite again. So. In my opinion, the fish I'm catching today, most of them probably are just bank runners year round. We just relocated into a creek though to try to catch a largemouth instead of some, some spots. So, Let's see if we can get this big old largemouth bite.
So the spider webs are good and bad. Got to pick them off. But you know you ain't following nobody. I'm about to skip on one of these docks, catch a damn 13-inch spot, and be like, what the hell am I doing in this creek? I guarantee you I could go ruin them seawalls like I was doing earlier. You could have caught like a few more by now. But I always want to freaking learn more. If I was in a tournament, that's what I would have did though. Got me a large mouth. Nope, another big spot. I guess that's all that's in this lake spots. That's a good one. Look at how he's hooked. He can never come off, but I didn't have him too good to. I mean, that, that is having him good, but just barely. A quarter of an inch, I'd have missed him. What's up? The day before official practice on Lake Fork. And we down here slinging the buzz bait around some docks on one of these local Texas lakes. We are way east of Dallas right now, fishing around. Caught some spotted bass yesterday in a lake that has a lot of spotted bass, apparently. And uh, hopefully today we catch us a largemouth or two. I never caught a largemouth bass in Texas, so that's the bucket list for today. Let's catch us a couple. Just some traditional fall patterns, you know. And the sun, the sun has different levels of brightness throughout the year because we're not the same distance away from the sun at all times so whenever the sun is this brightness it feels like it's just the time to pick up a buzz bait and a jig and roll around you know that's just every year this time of year that's all I want to do I go back to a jig I throw it a lot pick up a buzz bait and just roll with it you know there's hard extremely hard shade lines this time of year you can throw top water all day long you don't even need clouds you got just so much shade right now All right, check it out. We are now in Texas. We're staying at these little, they're like mobile homes that have been turned into little cabins. That's ours right there. Not bad, pretty cool. And Hunter has a friend over here. That is lots of funny, look, he loves the camera. He is blue and purple and yellow and orange. And his tail's purple. His tail's purple. Hunter's little buddy. So pretty. What do you think about him? Better hop on there and ride him. You yellow and him blue, y'all be all kind of different colors. There's a lot more. And this is our back porch for the week. So majestic. Bam, there's one. Scared me stomping or something. Back porch. Got a grill, boat, plugged up, everything ready to roll. That's first time all year I'm actually planning on fishing in gloves. These are the new, well, I don't know if they're new or not, striker, liner gloves. These are the ones that I like to fish in the best. But anyways, 37 degrees right now. Pretty daggum cold if I do say so myself. So Lake Fork practice starts today. Never been on Lake Fork. I've never caught a largemouth in Texas, and considering that I have no hooks on any bait at all, my first ever Texas largemouth might be during the tournament. So we'll just have to wait and see. But hopefully we'll find something today. Really excited to get out there. It's an incredible lake, very, very famous lake, and we're allowed to be on the water here in about five minutes, so I gotta go find us some big 10-pound Lake Fort Bass. Let's get out there. Got my first good one. Look at that. That's an untamed tackle eviction jig. This is a 5.8, I'm flipping around these trees. This is a big one, big bulky one. Got a big full-size super chunk trailer on there. Big jig, very big jig. That's a good one. Close to a four pounder probably. Three, yeah, close to a four. Not too bad, it's a good one.